What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rashid. And I am here to talk about, to give my side of the story, to give the actual facts and help guide you guys to a place where you can read the actual facts because of what happened at my gym, at Iron Addicts Gym Miami last week. A lot of people are just running their mouths, not knowing what they're talking about. A lot of males who are not men, they're gossiping like chicks, are making videos, talking about something that has nothing to do with them and about things that they don't know what they're talking about. And it's really ignorant, it's really, really foolish to spread misinformation, okay? It started with the news, the local news in Miami. Uh, they sensationalized the story to try to make it look good. Uh, steroid bust at a gym. That did not happen. It was not a steroid bus at a gym. Okay, let me start all the way back from the beginning. Um, when I decided to do a gym in Miami, uh, I, I, I met uh, the guy at question through mutual friends. Um, he presented himself to be the doctor, owner of a hormone replacement therapy clinic. Cool, nothing wrong with that. Um, he wanted to invest in the gym. He wanted to partner up with me. I thought about it, I said, okay, uh, let me write out the specifics of what I want, and if you agree to it, cool. So I did that, he agreed to it. Okay, so during this time I'm researching him, because I don't want to be a part of any, anything or be associated with people doing illegal things. I've been through things in the past, I fought and fought and changed my life, I fought for my freedom, and I want to keep it that way. I have children, that I'm very involved in their lives. It's a lot of, I do a lot of things in the community and the last thing I wanna do, the last thing I'm gonna do is to be doing illegal things to make money um, when I'm somewhat of a community figure, okay? Now, for the record, I make good money with legitimate businesses, okay, before meeting this guy. So I'm, I'm not into making a quick buck, all right? So anyway, before we move forward, I seen his website. So I was like, well, I'm very familiar with hormone replacement um, therapy clinics, but I did not know that they existed online. So I asked him questions about it. He said that it was 100% legit. He has an FDA attorney. He, has, uh, he explained the way that it works. And that not being something that I'm 100% familiar with, it sounded legitimate. He's in plain daylight with it. It is not a hidden site, it's there. He promoted it, I thought it was legal. He had uh, legit bodybuilders uh, uh, endorsed by it. I didn't see anything wrong with it. However, that was not the deal. The deal was not me and his company, it was me and him and him financing the gym, him being the investor in the gym, okay? so. We move forward with the gym, everything is going cool, but you know, I'm having more questions about it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I had a gut feeling that something on that side wasn't 100% right. Uh, we've had many conversations about it. I questioned them, probed them many, many times. And even though it had nothing to do with me, I just didn't want that affiliation like that when I started feeling these, these things. Um, for the most part, we were cool, but we did have a lot of like a lot of friction, um, a lot of fighting, you know, verbal fighting. And at this point, we were so deep into the gym, and I just wasn't feeling it. And uh, you know, I've been speak, I've spoken several times with the the DEA, you know, after the arrest and. Uh, they knew everything that I'm, everything I'm telling you guys, they knew because they were listening, I'm sure, to the phone calls. He was under investigation for three years, way before I even knew him. So they knew my position on, on everything. Um, I do want to clear the record. There was not, and I repeat, there was not a steroid uh, uh, business going on in the gym, upstairs from the gym, none of that. He, ha he had an office in the gym and that was it, okay? Um, <clears throat> actually, early on, he wanted his, I don't know, shipping or storage to be at the gym. I shot that down, absolutely not. He said, okay. And that was the last conversation we had on that. 
So there was not an operation happening in the gym. No one was selling steroids in the gym, okay? Now, even before I'm saying this to you guys, I made sure I got back in contact with the authorities over this case, the investigators over this case, the supervisors of this case, and asked them, was there an investigation on the gym? Was there anything happening in the gym? They said, absolutely not. Those stories are 100% false, okay? The documents are here. You guys can read them yourself. I'm not making this up. I didn't write this. They put it out, official press release, 35 page affidavit and arrest warrant, okay? Of everybody involved. So myself, CT Fletcher, Iron Addicts Gym, not implicated at all, okay? We do not do illegal things. I do not believe in it. I won't ever do it. I rather, it, it, it's, my mind works too well to resort to illegal means of making money, okay? I'm not perfect, but that's, thing, that's something that I won't do. People wanted to know about uh, a little, a small video clip uh, that he posted of me uh, talking about, what I was talking about was when men get in their, their 30s, testosterone levels start to decline, um, and it's good to get your levels checked. Now, he had the, his company, um, the one that he went down for, but in the process, he, he was trying, this is what I'm assuming, maybe that wasn't 100% legit, he tried to do a, a, a legit one, okay? With a doctor, everything set up, at a clinic, at a real facility, I went there to get my blood work done, and there's a video of me going to get my blood work done. That's not illegal, is nothing, it has nothing to do with his other business, and people are probably taking and running with that, because I went to get my blood work done by a doctor. He wasn't even around, okay? So anyway, um, I wanna also address the trolls, the people who are making these ridiculous comments. Um, basically, you know, you should think before you go spreading lies, uh, being so dark and evil and mean. You should think twice before you go spreading information without knowing the facts. Some people just ignore the facts. Some people are just trolls anyway and they wanna talk shit regardless. So now they have, they feel like they have some ammunition. And I don't want people like that to follow me anyway. I don't want you around me, okay? So you, those people can unfollow me like a motherfucker. Go, shoot, please, get out of here, all right? Uh, to the people, uh, there's industry people doing videos on YouTube about my situation or about what happened. They're, they're spreading fake news, like Donald Trump said. Now I understand what he means by that, fake news. Um, they're spreading it, they're gossiping like little women, and it's just an ugly, it's an ugly characteristic. Like, I, you've never seen me make a video about somebody else's life. I just do not, I have too many things going on in my own life, too many ideas and concepts I'm trying to get out to people than to be sitting around gossiping about some shit that I don't even know about, about somebody else that has nothing to do with me. That's crazy. And for people that consume that kind of media, really, like, you, you can sit there and open your brain and your mind to a man making a video about another man when it has nothing to do with that man, that's crazy. Once again, the facts are out there. The facts, there's a link below, you can click on it. The facts are there. You know, the DEA put out an official report, okay? Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, this was, this has been a painful uh, week for a few reasons. Reading comments is painful. We're humans just like you guys. I'm not gonna act like it doesn't affect me. It does, it upsets me, you know? Um, my children read this stuff, you know? My family read this stuff. It really hurts, you know? Um, all of the work that we put in at the gym, that really fucking bothers me. It hurts me, you know? Um, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this, do a gym in Miami or whatever, fuck it. You know, I had a sour taste in my mouth, but um, you know, some friends of mine, like out there working, trying to get it back going. And then I started reading into my DMs and my snaps and just the messages. I got a, a huge, huge uh, 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 outpour 
of people from the gym, of just people supporting. And one of the most consistent things I'm reading is, please tell me you're gonna reopen. Please tell me you're gonna reopen. Then I have other people saying that I went to this gym and they're, they're talking shit about iron addicts and it made me walk out. You know, I went to this gym and I just got depressed after being in iron addicts, Miami. So now I felt the res responsibility to finish what I started and to do things the right way without anybody with, with any questions, anybody that I have to question, okay? So we are in a process right now of rebuilding, okay? And I will give you guys details soon, very soon. Um, this is an unfortunate situation. It, like I said, it was very painful to me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fucking tough guy. I shed tears over this shit, you know? It, it, it really affected me, it, it was painful. But I felt like, you know what, I'm the first one to preach. You know, I tell you guys all the time about a lot of the things that I've been through in my life that are hard. But, you know, you got to persevere and you got to move forward. And this is one of those those situations for me. I always talk about, yeah, I've been through a lot of shit. And guess what? I'll probably go through some more. And this is one of those cases. You know, we grow through pain. Pain is a necessary is a necessity for growth. You know, even like when you're lifting weights and the shit hurts, you're tearing down the muscles, it hurts, it's sore, but you're growing back stronger. So this is, it's a lesson for me. One of the lessons that I have learned is to trust my fucking guts. Trust my guts. And if something is, seems too good to be true, it probably is, you know? Um, also, you know, it was a, this is a painful experience and I'm having to still handle my business, live my life, be productive, be at my kid's school, walk my dog, train. When you're dealing with this kind of pain, this kind of, you know, these impediments, it's hard to want to do your normal thing. But guess what? You have no choice because life does not stop because you don't feel good about something, you know? And that's, that's something that I had to deal with. You know, and it was always really, it was always worse when I'm sitting home alone, just thinking about it, man. I'm not gonna lie, you know, and I'm not gonna lie, I fucking cried, you know what I mean? And I don't want any sympathy or anything, you know? It, it, I got emotional over it. It fucking hurt, it fucking hurt, that's all I can say, you know? But this is life, and at, at times in life, we deal with, with painful uh, things. We gotta suck it up, use it as energy, and keep fucking pressing forward, you know? Um, I'm always trying to be a better person. And when the shit went down, even before this, I was angry at this guy a lot. I was mad a lot, you know? And last summer I had a really, I was in an angry, dark space. And it was the people I was around in Miami. It's not Miami, Miami is a beautiful city with beautiful people, dope ass people, but it was the people that him and his people, I, was, I felt like I was in a dark space because I felt like I was on the edge, not comfortable. So, you know, and now thinking back on it, you know, my biggest concern when I heard about this shit was, where's his son, where's his kid? You know, he got a little boy, little cute little boy, and I worried about him, you know, but when I talked to the agents, they said that they let him go to a, a family member and I was relieved about that. But, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and hate him. I'm not gonna sit here and cuss him out. You know, he made mistakes and I really hope that he can, you know, atone for his, his actions and become better, you know? Um, I wish, you know, I, and people are saying, disparaging things to the DEA like some of my supporters and don't do that. Don't do that. These men are good guys doing their job, okay? So don't do that. You know, I, I'm all, you know, a lot of y'all know, a lot of my friends are in law enforcement and I stand by them, you know? Good, good, good fucking people, you know what I mean? So there's bad people everywhere, in the gym, wherever. So don't generalize people like that. And, um, you know, that's it. I mean, I hope that that kind of clears the air and I'll summarize it just in case. There's no steroid ring inside of my gym, okay? The reason that they came to my gym, the DEA, was to seize anything that was purchased with his money 
and just so happened the equipment was purchased with his money, so they seized it. That's what happens in these kind of uh, cases. It wasn't a, a drug bust or anything like that. To the members, to my members that had to see that, to my members that are without a gym home right now, I swear to you, I'm sorry. To our employees, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't fix this, you know, but trust me, I'm working on reopening, bringing us a new home, and, you know, hopefully it'll be a lot better this time, a, a, a lot a more pure vibe. We, we created something special, you know, and we're gonna do it again in a better way. And um, all my friends that, that, that reached out to show support, I really appreciate you guys. Um, there's a lot of friends, a few friends of mine that I didn't even hear from. I'm not gonna lie, that shit fucking hurt, you know? Because if any of my friends are going through something, I'm fucking flying out to your ass and I'm gonna hang out with you, make sure you're good, you know what I'm saying? So to not even get calls or texts from certain people, yeah, it fucking hurt, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you know, all, I, all of the people that rock with me, if your friends or anybody you care about or love or is ever going through something, go fucking be with them. Go call them, go, go over their house, whatever, and hit them up every day, annoy their ass, you know what I'm saying? Show that you care, you know, because it ain't nothing like that. Uh, shout out to one of my boys, Joey Firestone. That's my fucking bro for life. He was right there by me. You know, he was actually, he's actually the one making sure <laughs> that we get back up and running and, and the shit is like, we got so many options right now. It's, he's a blessing to be on my, you know, you're a blessing, homie. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to have a friend like you, my boy Andrew too. You know what I mean? Everybody else, everybody that show love, man. We, despite the little fucking bullshit comments that people left, is a lot more people that show love. And I fucking love that, man. It make, make me feel good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make me tear up right up in here. Nah. But anyway, I hope that answered questions. Um, uh, like I said, there's nothing going on in the gym. Just so happened that they had to confiscate anything that he purchased, okay? And, uh, the gym had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. CT had nothing to do with it. And, uh, you know, for anybody out there being immature, leaving stupid ass comments, y'all need to knock it off. Get a life, you know? Is your life that boring to where you gotta go and create fake accounts and leave stupid comments on people's pages? It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, much love to everybody out there. And uh, that's it, let's keep rocking on, y'all. Let's, let's be productive, let's be positive. And, um, you know, I just want to put this behind me and move on and build on to something with solid foundation. All right. Peace.